Len, in the age-old questions of whether God exists or not, um, in recent times, the, the hard use of science, particularly in cosmology and physics, your fields, have been used to show that, at the very least, God is not necessary. How do you look upon the use of physics and uh, cosmology uh, to, uh, to argue against the existence of God? Well, I think that the history of science shows that God is not necessary to explain uh, the universe. I don't think that, for instance, um, we, we now know that evolution can create us. We know how the universe got to be here through the, um, the theories of cosmology. We haven't come in, ever come into a, uh, a, uh, a barrier where, where we said, then a miracle must have happened. Uh, in fact, we never see miracles in the lab. Uh, uh, we, we see everything following the, the laws that we that we've uh, discovered or we discover, we create new laws. Um, so I, I am a big believer in the idea that God is not necessary for the universe, that everything that happens uh, follows the laws of nature. And I've never seen any uh, evidence that that's not true. However, let me go from science to a more mathematical philosophical statement, which is that we haven't proved science does not and cannot prove that there is no God. And I, I and I, I don't understand people who um, seem to believe that. Uh, just because we are showing that we can uh, have mathematical laws that describe uh, nature doesn't mean that we're proving that, that, that God's not there. Maybe God created the laws. Maybe God was necessary to, to come up with the quantum principle. I mean, I think I'm not one who believes in, in the Bible. Uh, I, don't, I find it very hard to see how people could believe in the Bible. Um, but um, on the other hand, I'm somewhat... I mean, religious. I go to synagogue sometimes. Uh, I just, you know, I'm more of what you would call an agnostic. But I, 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 I see science as being separate, uh, and and uh, religious beliefs as as being separate, and you, one doesn't prove the other. Um, maybe I'll say one other thing. That that uh, one thing I do have trouble with are people on the other side, uh, people who they're scientific atheists and they're radical theists. Uh, who um, don't want evolution to be taught or don't believe in the Big Bang. And um, I get very puzzled by that because, you know, I sat when I was, uh, the, the high holidays came and I was in the synagogue, I was looking through the Chumash, that's the Torah, the Bible, um, and I was reading about a couple of things that I wonder if how these people, uh, you know, how they deal with that, where the Bible says uh, kill homosexuals um, uh, and maybe they, they don't, maybe they, you know, believe that homosexuality is wrong, but it also says things like, um, if your child is disrespectful, kill him. I think it stoned him to death. That was the punishment for the disrespect of a child toward the father. Told my daughter Olivia this, by the way, and she said, that's okay, because it doesn't say anything about girls. <laughs> but um, somehow people who believe in the Bible f find a way to dismiss those things, and yet they have a trouble dismissing that the earth was created in seven days and that, and that people were put on the earth and evolution isn't true. And I think that if, you, if you're going to believe in the Bible today, there's a lot of stuff you have to dismiss, explain away or whatever in the realm of moral issues. And that you should also use those same techniques to explain away the, the wrong uh, physical picture that the Bible gives of how the, uh, we and the world got here. And so as a scientist and as a physicist and, and, and knowing everything, how do you... How do you approach the the concept of, of of the possibility of some spiritual or so, some additional factor? Uh, you're saying it's not necessary. You don't need it, but it it could possibly. It's not necessary. I can't disprove it. And for me, as a scientist, and not just a scientist by uh, training or profession, but in my heart mm -hmm. as a scientist, I. I tend not to believe things that I, there's no evidence for. I, I, uh, but it's not always true. That's, uh, I, I do believe, for instance, in aliens. I believe that there are, there's life on other planets, and I think there's no evidence of that. And we don't understand the origin of life on Earth well enough to say how probable it is that on another star life would form. But in my heart, for some reason, I find myself believing that. But that's rare for me. I usually believe things based on, 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 on evidence, and, I, and I've never seen evidence in my life for God. In fact, I've seen evidence against God in some ways because my parents went through the Holocaust. Uh, their families were all slaughtered. And um, I, you know, it's hard to see how God would have made that decision.